Hello friends, myself R.D. Mahajan presenting my video on Z-transform. Uh, let us find Z-transform of A raised to N with the condition N greater than or equals to 1. And as condition is N greater than or equals to 1, Z-transform of that function A raised to N is obtained by summation. Instead of starting from 0, we start it from 1 to infinity f of n is a raised to n into z as to minus n. Uh, that is the only change we have to make. Instead of n equal to 0 to infinity, we write n is equal to 1 to infinity as condition is n greater than or equals to 1. And then combining this power, we get summation of e z as to minus 1 and whole raised to n, n changes from 1 to infinity. Then re rewriting it, summation of transferring this z raised to minus 1 to denominator, we get a by z and whole raised to n, n changes from 1 to infinity. Then substituting the first value of n as 1, we get that term as a by z. For n equal to 2, we get a by z square. For n equal to 3, we get a by z cube and so on. Then, to have that first term as 1, we take a by z common from all this. Remaining terms are, uh, here remains 1. Next one is a by z. Next one is a by z whole square and so on. Sum of this term 1 plus capital X plus capital X square and so on is 1 upon 1 minus capital X that capital X is here A by z into this outer A by z as it is and the condition is mod of A by z less than 1. Then cross multiplying by z we get a by z multiplied by z upon z minus e with the condition mod z greater than mod of e. z z get cancelled and we get the final answer as e divided by z minus e as a required z transform. Condition mod of z greater than mod of e. This is the uh, required z transform. If you like my video, please share it as well as subscribe to my channel and to receive the notification for such type of new videos, press the bell icon. Thank you. Thanks for watching.